Okay, so this is going to be on Mankind, and let's see how this goes. I'm going to do it easy because I haven't played it before, so let's do it easy and test it. We are survival machines, robot vehicles, blinded programmed to conserve the self molecules known as genes. I miss that last bit. 39,000 years ago, a budding human being suffered a random genetic mutation. When an egg cell started to form an embryo, there was a DNA replication error. One gene mutated into another. This accident brought irreversible consequences for humanity. Forty millennia later, this gene would be known as what remains. A gene only remains and spreads if its owner is able to eliminate competitors. What remains is a cumulative genetic mutation. Its human replicators evolved into antisocial individuals with psychopathic traits clustered into small, covert communities. Until the gene manifested itself phenotypically. It was then that the great disaster began. Oh dang, a nuke. Once it ended, Technology was lost, violence increased, and the natural selection process accelerated. It was the dawn of a new dark age. But someone did survive. The colonies on the moon and Mars, and the space stations. Exiled mankind survived, recovering Earth technology through risky landings. Until a visionary, Den Aoyama, settled with her followers at a subterranean base on Santa Catalina Island. It contains the Techno Womb, where genetically enhanced humans are born. These are the soldiers of HOPE. The reconquest of Earth is their one and only goal. Ah, okay. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow, Albert Einstein. Console. We from the Senate are surprised. This trip to the HOPE base on the island of Santa Catalina was not communicated to us. With the recent passing of Miss Aoyama and the subsequent elevation of Bodo Cantabroy, HOPE has become a military organization outside of Senate purview. None of our members are authorized to visit. Return immediately. Graphics for Earth looks awesome. Is that where we're going? Welcome to HOPE, Console. I am the Prometheus AI. I have been modified to guide you through the techno room in this sacred place. The millions of our brotherhood are 
genetically designed and gestated. There are only 54 techno worlds, and we lack the technology and resources to create more. designed to care for the fetus during its growth, as well as for its immediate care once it leaves the techno room. In the beginning, we wanted to create perfect humans, but we ended up losing an entire generation because their cell regeneration required too much energy. Another mistake was not inculcating any identity. The second generation had to be discarded for their lack of emotional control and psychotic episodes. Fortunately, we have learned from our mistakes. Go ahead, console. Access the terminal and create a new life. Okay. Oh, okay. Each cell of a human being has 23 pairs of chromosomes, which initiate the person's trait. A generic database comes manually from Earth's golden age. Follow our user friendly interface. Instantly write trillions and zeros of zeros and ones codes. What's that mean? That'll be me? Okay. Digger 4, this is 2. The radar tells me that you're next door. Why are you still over there? There's nothing there, Digger 4. Rejoin us immediately. Out 2. Can't be a salt rifle. Oh.
We can't waste time. We must get those data tablets before the pale sacks get here. If you continue to act like this, this will be your last mission. Orders are to stay together. Down here are deadly creatures. You will do what I tell you. Okay. Do not. Bossy? Here I am not your lover. I am Digger 2, and you are Digger 4. I am your superior, and we have our orders. You are strong and brave, but you are not ready. Your pater should not have brought you. It's not about fighting. It's about getting in, taking what we need, and leaving safely. Act forcefully with speed and disappear before the pale sacks know we're here. Those who do not get this die quickly. And your destiny is to... to not die on this miserable lost planet. Pretty words don't get missions done. Now concentrate on the objective for which we are all here. We must hurry. BB will guard the door while I review my analysis. Search the rooms upstairs in this house. We've covered the block. This has to be the place. Our prize must be in here somewhere. The dogs may still be far away, but there is always danger. Hurry it up. We are looking for a data tablet in good condition. You should be able to spot it easily, even with all the garbage. One may be your pater, but he has not said anything about its content. However, given the risk we are taking, it must be very important. There's a closed door upstairs. It may be a good place to start. How I got to be assigned here? Why are you asking that question now? We have things to do, and fast. Cadvalon is a natural leader. Of all the groups of diggers, his is the one that takes the most risk. He is close to finding something important, and I want to see what it is. Yes, he is a visionary and seems to have inside information. Well, I answered your question. It's time to move on. Get to it, then. Search the house for a data tablet. Alright. Are they mushrooms? Yeah, they're mushrooms. <laughs> Enter the code. ING. G E 
Okay, so I've got the tablet now. I have to give it to her. Did you find it? It's very unusual to find computer equipment in such good condition. Good work. Let me examine it. Awesome. It still works. 
fusion batteries are the best thing ever invented. But it seems that it is encrypted. Let me figure this out. We've learned a thing or two since this old thing was made. Here's a name. It looks like this tablet belonged to one Marcus Mueller, a big shot at Aztec, the European Space Research and Technology Center. Yes, it is his life's work. But what is this? Oh my god, this... Mueller. This is not good. Fish, you're starting to frighten me. What is it? If this is what Cad Balan was looking for, he had us fooled all this time. This is sacrilege, our destruction. It should be destroyed. Then destroy it. We'll tell him we didn't find anything. Maybe, but... No. We follow orders as we were trained to do. This goes up the chain of command. Your pater is searching the building across the street. Take it to him. Those were our orders. But we were also told that if we found something important, we should alert the command center on the ISS. They are orders from above, and we have to follow procedure. But you go ahead. I know when your pater sees this, he will destroy it. money. Did you see the size of those dogs? We must leave as soon as possible. The pale sacks will attack soon, Ford. I didn't sign up to rummage through trash. But the recruiter hated me. That's how I end up assigned to the digger teams. Every time I descend to Earth, I can't help but feel nostalgic doesn't make sense. Yeah, I was born before the Great Disaster, but I never knew this world. Uh, see, I grew up between walls built out of moon dust bricks and helium-3 processors converting to lunar regular. Yeah, I never felt... never felt so comfortable there. I only feel at home when I'm back here. Well, I suppose that's why Vishpala didn't say anything to me on the radio. Let me see what's got her scared. Ha! You see this? She is without a doubt the best Sysop I know. Decrypting this shouldn't have been so easy. Well, let's see what it says. Marcus Mueller? I knew it. He took refuge in his mother's house when the world fell apart. From Aztec. Yeah, yeah, I know all this. Here's some notes on the project. No, it can't be. Mueller, you may have been crazy, but you were a genius. This far exceeds what I expected. It's so exciting, so important, that I'm shaken with fear. It contains the future. The world is recovering faster than we thought still change forever. So, we must change to survive in it. Return to Earth. You know why we're here? Why we risk our lives more than others? You know why returning to Earth is our only option at this point? That's true, but it doesn't completely answer my question. We must return to Earth because it was the cradle of humankind. It's our home. Take a good look at these once proud buildings. Now, we live in dark times. Progress and ideas are viewed as threats, while freedom has been given up to ensure survival. So, this discovery will certainly redirect my life and yours, if not in the... The 
our people don't return to Earth, it'll be our end. Today's a day that I put on your shoulders a weight that's burdened me. I'm very sorry. I want you to promise me that you'll follow my goal when I'm gone. This cause surpasses all others. Okay. Today, you have entered into responsibility and maturity. Always act honestly. Follow your principles. All right. So, next I must ask, do you know who Den Aoyama is? Uh-uh. Don't be taken in by the official propaganda. She was the top geneticist in the colonies. She had the courage to gather those who believed in her and to recover an old scientific facility. I wouldn't have expected any less. Den Aoyama and her people are strong enough not to fear retaliation from the Senate. And brave enough to know what to do with this data tap. We must get it to her. Well, I'm in contact with her. I'm gonna send her the coordinates to an extraction point where an HOPE transport will come to pick you and the data tablet up. It is of the utmost importance that you keep that data safe. I trust you. No, unfortunately. I, I need to speak to the rest of the team. We need them on our side. They gotta keep this secret. I'll return with them to the transport that's already coming for us. I'm so sorry to burden you with this responsibility. I love you. Someday, the sun will shine warmly again on this earth. Mm -hmm. One, this is six. Eight contacts approach, 300 meters northwest. Appear to be armed. They must be from the colonial transport we saw five minutes ago. Orders? The transport? Here? With a full squad? That makes no sense. Digger, hold your defensive positions. They may be hostile. Sir, all channels are open. Now they're deploying to attack. Digger 6, Digger 2, hold your weapons. They are friendlies. They have come to pick up what we found. Do what have you done? Belay that order, Digger. Weapons free. Shit! One, they outnumber us. We'll need support. Six out. They were fast. Listen to me well. Avoid getting killed and go to that Hope transport now. Good luck. Uh huh. doing here would you happen to have something to do with the ship that just landed on the roof I don't believe a word of it why would the chief allow that without giving me direct orders look one way or another I'm going to stay here keeping watch and if someone so much as cracks that door, I'll do my job. Especially if that someone is you. You two may have pulled Vish, but not me. Now run back to daddy, you little coward ass snot. Step back. Thank <laughs> you. 
need like a freaking torch of some type. I could kind of just about see. Talk to Hope 79, Rad. You match the description they gave me. You sure don't look like much, but you must have something important if they sent me to find you. Hope 79 of the second generation. My partner there is Hope 82. That's me, the most handsome guy of the entire second generation. <laughs> we better get going as soon as possible. What you hear in the background is the howling of the pale sax dogs. All right, but before we get going, I want to see what's so important. Hey, Mr. Handsome, this rat just bared its teeth at me. Say the word and I'll blow the rat's brains out. No, that would make Dinayayama very angry, so shoot its knee. So, what do we have here? Impressive. This data tablet is cursed. It has information that can either change everything or destroy us all. By bringing this to HOPE, you've invited your enemies to destroy us. They won't need any more excuses. Anything necessary, but this is how we'll start. We'll get on the transport, and we'll talk about our common enemies. I believe that the two of us can come to an agreement. It'll give us an advantage. Then Ayayama will see the wisdom in that. Sorry to interrupt your conspiring, Sekator, but we should go right away. Down there, they're about to kill each other. And the Pale Sacks will be quick to take advantage. Come here and see for yourself. I'll let you use my binoculars. As Sekator said, the data is cursed. It's about to take its first camp. Go with him, but hurry it up. We leave in two. Look down there, Rat. They've been arguing for a while now. They all look very agitated, except the old man. He seems to be trying to calm things down. With humans, emotion always wins. If someone loses their temper, there will be a fatal shoot. This is not going to end well. All day. You're not going anywhere, rat. My mission is to ship you alive. You can thank Dinayayama when we get back. Let's go. You just hit me? Like, what the fuck? Why is there blood there?
Hundred percent. Creators will be pleased with your recovery. Hope 279. Everything indicated that you are not going to survive your burn. My name is Prometheus, and it will guide you through your first steps outside the techno room. I know. Your brush with death activated cellular memories that actually belong to the main person whose template was used on you. It should not happen again until you die. Nothing to worry about. Everything is fine now. Leaving the techno room is always a traumatic process, but was worse in your case. It is the artificial uterus in which you have spent the last four years, growing by an accelerated process and learning by simulation. You must be hungry and thirsty, but before continuing, please read the messages on return. You have a message from Bodo Canabroy, the first brother, our magister. Then, when you leave, you will enter a lounge containing food and drink. You may be interested to know that the apples there are from Mars. Most of the memories you are loaded with during your long gestation are about Earth and its golden age. At the beginning of the 21st century, it was all part of a simulation to give you memories. However, towards the end you were loaded with information about how the world has changed since then. We know that you need time for the newer neural pathways to connect. Eating and drinking will reduce the hunger and thirst bars in the lower left corner of your curb's display. When you have finished in the lounge, go down the hall through the green door. So that's supposed to be a shower, but there's no shower in there. You must be Hope 279. You took a long time to wake up, so I'm glad you're okay. Prometheus estimated your chances at 25%. I would not mention too often that you have a name. It will bring you problems. Look, in fact, I think because of it, you were born at a disadvantage. From the little I know, we are all born with the number code and must earn a name later. My advice is to follow the tradition, but do what you want. I guess I would also like to remember the name I had in my memories. Well, my fake memories. At times, I think all this is a dream. But then I wake up in these facilities again. But... If you think about it, we were already preparing for this at the end of our stay in the technical room. Well, how may I help you? Go ahead. What do you want to talk about? 
I was also alarmed the first time I saw it. But it turns out that it's a side effect from the substances for accelerated growth that we were injected with. I guess it's a birthmark common to HOPE soldiers. What do you want to talk about? Before you go, there is something that I need from you. Look, in this place, we are constantly being observed. Not only is it a site for basic training, but it's also an examination. I think I may have been assigned a special test. In my room, there's a locker that contains something important, but I have to enter a code. I've searched everywhere, but I've found nothing. Thank you. I'll continue searching as well. I just hope that those that are watching are not playing some kind of joke on me. Well, see you around. Good luck. Pakum Serba. tired? It is one of the drawbacks of living in a physical body. But I do not need to eat or sleep, and I am not limited to five senses. I am reading your curve now. For example, it is the Bioware monocle implanted during your birth. It fits perfectly around your eye and is hardwired to your brain. We call it curved. It allows you to access information both about yourself and the world around you. It also connects you to communication channels like the one I'm using right now. Okay. Of course. What you see now are only basic facts. You can get a comprehensive view of your state and advancement from your bio card. must be earth. It is part of the ritual. There you have an enemy ahead. Beat him. Hope 279. And demonstrate that you are ready for the horrors out there. If you fail, you will be discarded. Now HOP watches over you. I have been programmed to guide you and reduce the possibility of further endogenous failure. Later, we are going to measure your simulated firearms training. Finish off your enemy, then use the door across the lounge to enter the shooting range. Okay.
I'm hope 282. Your buddy, I guess. Lucky you. If I looked a little distracted, because I was thinking about the memories implanted by Techno Mom, like hunting deer with my dad. Hmm. Like you think you know how to ride a horse, even though you've never seen a horse. And what's worse, if the software fails or someone hacks the system, well, that's your head. It can be bad business. You know, with the second generation, Techno Mommy created a gang of psychopaths. They just wiped them out again and adjusted the program. Supposedly, that fixed a problem. But with Hope 280, I have concerns. Well, the only time he says anything is to criticize. I say, don't pay any mind to naysayers. Watch out for that guy. What would you like to talk about? It's actually a curse. Been objectified since I left Techno Mommy. <laughs> so you're not just a flirt, but a smart prospect. Right now we're in training, but uh, you have that drink as soon as that period is over. Let's talk about mm -hmm. something else. I have a problem. Let's see. How do I tell you this? I shouldn't be awakened yet. They woke me up early because be offended or anything. Everyone thought you were gonna die. But you didn't die. And now I'm the fourth wheel. So now I don't get either room or terminal. They bunk me with that steroid junkie. Since I don't have my own terminal, they assign me the lounge one. But I can't access the terminal to read my mail. Could you try it for me? You don't know how much I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to reading my email and knowing who my mentor is. Pack them serve up. Password, please. Access denied. Password, please. Status updated. Access granted. Welcome. This is Hope 160, your mentor. I guess. Showing off your Psysop skills, aren't you? Yes, I read your service record. All two lines of it. Your lucky HOP at least thought you could be used for something. Else you would now be in the incinerator. Report to the shooting range and get some practice. You'll only use the weapons that the instructors thought your empty hands could handle. Do your goddamn best. Password, please. Status updated. Did you manage to access the terminal for me? Well, I do dream about it. I like to do that. Life was better then. Okay. You mean you'd prefer to dream with me about? Neither of us beat around the bush. We like each other, and I want to take the next step. I like that. I'll sneak out of Home 280's room tonight, and we'll talk all night. For now, let's return to my much more mundane but sincere questions about dreams. Pack them serve up.
please like and subscribe for more content and i hope you like this video